Denzel Ward talked about uh, Joe Woods and the Browns' defense uh, earlier today. I mean, I don't feel like he's on the hot seat. I don't, I don't think all the um, pressure or all the blame should be on Joe. Like I say, he's a great coordinator and has a great defense. Uh, and we just got to gotta do our part and go out there and execute it uh, to the best of our ability. So, I mean, we got to take, take credit for or own up to our own mistakes and everything. But we're all in this together. It's not just one person or one coach. And uh, we just got to try to find a way to go out and get a win. Yeah, I think Joe's a great D coordinator. Uh, we're all in this together. And um, I feel like it, it takes all of it. It's not, it's not just if something happens out there, it's not just Joe. He didn't just call a bad call or it's one guy just messed up. I mean, we get, we're all in this together. So everyone makes mistakes here and there, whether that's a bad call or a bad play or give up a play. I mean, those guys are good on the other side of the ball as well. So we just got to try to find a way to uh, put it all together. Uh, and try to find a way to get a win. I don't, I don't think guys are turning on each other at all. I mean, our main focus is trying to get a win. Obviously, our record is not as we want it to be, but, I mean, you turn on the tape and you see guys out there competing, going hard, and, like I said, trying to find a way to get a win. We just got to try to find a way to finish. Um, we started the game out strong, but I think we just got to try to find a way to play a full 60-minute game. Quincy, they're um... – there are different factions where you hear different things from guys on that defense. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if we kind of look at the lines and who's playing well, who's not, it's kind of obvious where where these things go. Um, but, yeah, there there is a issue there. I mean, this is the second year in a row we're talking about the defensive locker room being split apart on some kind of uh, uh, issue. Um, it, it's, it's a problem, right? It's a problem. It's a problem that not just changing the coordinator is going to solve. It's a problem that you have to probably move out some players. Like, similar – look, they did this to the offense last year, right? And this is what gives me hope with Andrew Barry. They had to do this to the offense um, where the offense was just a mess – it was as bad as the defense was this year. Um, it's unfortunate we keep seesawing like this, right? Offense bad one year, defense bad one year, offense bad. But this does give you hope, right? Because the offense was this much of a mess last year. And in the offseason, they did a good job of just getting rid of a bunch of people, filtering in a bunch of new people. Um, and, and now the offense is pretty good. And we haven't even added Deshaun Watson yet. Um, defensively, they're going to have to do the same thing. There's going to be a bunch of people that have to get filtered out. There's going to be a bunch of people who are going to get filtered back in. Um, and then there's going to be some changes that need to be made structurally to this offense. Now, if that includes Joe Woods returning, man, I just don't see how he can return with a straight face. <laughs> um, but but um, because, like, this isn't like last year where we're like, oh, Miles got – like, there's no thing to point at that's, like, tanking the defense individually like we could with the offense last year. It's just a group effort of stink. So um, I just can't see how he comes back. But if you're looking for anything to be positive about, we had to do the same thing to the offense last year. They were able to do it successfully and get that turnaround in a year. So there's reason to believe that this front office can do the same thing with the defense. And it's not like they made a bunch of signings. They made some trades. They made some clever moves, and it worked out.